Currently ongoing is the Beijing Auto Show, featuring a plethora of new vehicles from prominent manufacturers such as Mazda, Toyota, Nissan, and Honda. We're reaching out with a heartfelt request on behalf of Lewin, a dear friend of the channel battling sickle cell disease throughout his life. Lewin has shown incredible resilience despite losing two siblings to the same condition. His health is now at a critical juncture, but there's hope a bone marrow transplant and bilateral hip replacement. Our channel committed to this cause directs all proceeds to support Lewin, but the reality is our earnings are barely enough to sustain the channel, let alone this initiative. This is where your generosity can make a tangible difference. We're immensely grateful for the donations received so far and encourage you to contribute to Lewin's treatment link below. Every donation brings us closer to giving Lewin the chance he deserves for a healthier future. Thank you for standing with us in this vital mission. Honda has announced a significant investment of $1 billion in Canada for the production of electric vehicle batteries. This move underscores Honda's commitment to the rapidly growing EV market. Additionally, in Santa Barbara, California, the unveiling of the Acura ZDX, the first electric vehicle from Acura, is eagerly anticipated. Among the showcase vehicles is the Mazda EZ6 Sidon, slated for release in 2024. Based on an existing Chinese model, the Chaman SL03, the EZ6 incorporates Mazda's signature design elements, including distinctive lighting configurations reminiscent of the CX-5. The front grille, though primarily for aesthetics, contributes to the vehicle's traditional appeal. Notably, the EZ6 features advanced charging capabilities and a sleek, production-ready design. The interior of the EZ6 is equally impressive, boasting premium features such as integrated speakers in the headrests, diamond-stitched upholstery, and ambient lighting. The attention to detail extends to the dashboard, adorned with wood or fox wood accents and luxurious suede materials. While the touchscreen interface dominates the cabin, offering modern functionality, some may prefer physical controls for enhanced safety and ease of use while driving. In line with contemporary automotive trends, the EZ6 incorporates touch-sensitive buttons on the steering wheel and door panels, providing a seamless user experience. Despite some reservations about the reliance on touchscreen technology, the overall design and craftsmanship of the EZ6 are commendable, reflecting Mazda's dedication to innovation and quality. The Mazda EZ6 impresses with its elevated seating position, offering enhanced visibility while maintaining a sleek exterior profile. Noteworthy features include an adjustable dynamic spoiler and a spacious back seat, accentuated by a large glass roof, providing an airy and open feel to the cabin. While specific details such as range remain undisclosed, the intuitive navigation system and tire pressure monitoring capabilities indicate a focus on convenience and safety. Of particular interest is the luxurious front seat, which boasts reclining capabilities and an integrated ottoman, exemplifying Mazda's attention to comfort and innovation. The vehicle's interior design further delights with thoughtful touches, such as dual console openings and ample storage space, catering to practical needs while maintaining a sense of sophistication. Transitioning to the Arata concept, anticipated for release by 2025 or 2026, the vehicle embodies a futuristic interpretation of the popular CX-5 model. Sporting an illuminated grille and aggressive styling cues reminiscent of Mazda's turbocharged offerings, the Arata promises to make a bold statement on the road. While some elements like the vertical rear third brake light suggest a departure from traditional design conventions, the overall aesthetic exudes confidence and modernity. The oversized wheels and rugged door panel accents lend the Arata a robust yet refined appearance, drawing inspiration from Mazda's established SUV lineup. The concept's profile evokes familiarity with the CX-5, albeit with distinctive touches that set it apart as a forward-thinking iteration of the brand's design language. Turning attention briefly to Toyota's latest concepts, the BZ3C and BZ3X, these vehicles represent a continuation of the company's commitment to electrification and innovation. While details regarding their availability in North America are still forthcoming, the concepts showcase Toyota's exploration of new market segments and design directions. There's speculation that the company may pivot away from its current naming conventions, particularly the BZ series in North America due to its reception. Instead, there are discussions suggesting that the upcoming three-row electric vehicle from Toyota's Kentucky plant might not adopt the BZ5X designation, but rather emerge as a fully electric iteration of the popular Highlander SUV. Regarding the Toyota concepts, while there's little new to discuss, their production-like appearance is noteworthy. Embracing the trend of integrating all controls into touchscreen interfaces, these concepts offer a glimpse into Toyota's future design language. The BZ4X, for instance, features a screen position close to the windshield, reminiscent of contemporary design trends seen in vehicles like the Subaru Solterra. 
Meanwhile, the BZ3X presents a practical yet stylish design, resembling a minivan with its hammerhead-inspired front end. Coyote's characteristic minimalism shines through with clean lines and understated elegance defining the exterior. Moving to Nissan's offerings, the focus shifts to their new energy vehicle concepts, encompassing both electric and plug-in hybrid models. Among these are the Epoch EV Cedan, Epic EV SUV, Era Plug-in Hybrid SUV, and Eagle Plug-in Hybrid Cedan. Nissan's commitment to electrification is evident in these bold concepts, which showcase the brand's vision for sustainable mobility. Examining the interiors of Nissan's concepts reveals a familiar theme, echoing similar design cues seen in Toyota's offerings. The use of gold and beige tones coupled with ambient lighting and gradient patterns creates a welcoming and contemporary atmosphere. Notably, the adoption of touchscreen interfaces and scroll wheels mirrors industry trends, reflecting a shift towards digital-centric user experiences. The Nissan Epoch EV sedan emerges as a promising addition to the electric vehicle market slated for production in the United States by 2027. With flush door handles and conventional side mirrors, the Epoch embodies a sleek and practical design ethos. Drawing inspiration from Mazda's EZ6 concept, the rear taillights feature a distinctive aesthetic, contributing to the Sedan's overall appeal. Notably, the compact proportions and spacious interior make the Epoch an enticing option for environmentally conscious consumers. Turning our attention to the Nissan Epic EV SUV, it becomes apparent that the design closely mirrors its plug-in hybrid counterpart. While the interior remains largely unchanged, the exterior presents a busy aesthetic, characterized by intricate headlight designs and an abundance of detailing. Despite its visual complexity, Epic represents Nissan's commitment to electrification and innovation in the SUV segment. Honda introduces the P2, the second model in its joint venture series in China. With design cues reminiscent of Audi vehicles, the P2 exudes sophistication and refinement. Honda's departure from its traditional design language towards a more European-inspired aesthetic reflects a broader trend in the automotive industry towards cleaner lines and understated elegance. This shift is evident in Honda's recent models like the Accord and Civic, which embrace a more restrained and mature design philosophy compared to their predecessors. Among their offerings are the I-Series vehicles comprising the IP7, the YS7, and the GT Concept. The GT Concept, resembling a fusion of the Polestar 2 and Kia's EV6, marks an innovative stride in design. Meanwhile, the YS7 exudes a sporty demeanor, albeit sharing the same underpinnings as the P7. Notably, the P7's headlights bear a striking resemblance to those found on the EMP2, showcasing Honda's design continuity. Furthermore, amidst the early hours, details emerge regarding Honda's official announcement. Confirmed during the ZDX event, Honda plans to unveil significant investments totaling $1 billion, strategically situated 55 miles north of Toronto. This endeavor, two years in the making, underscores Honda's commitment to the region. Additionally, Honda's investment extends to two joint venture supplier plants within Ontario, focusing on battery precursor materials and separators. This landmark investment, surpassing Volkswagen's previous record, signifies a pivotal moment in Honda's trajectory. Notably, this announcement aligns with a broader trend of EV investments in Canada. Northvolt's $7 billion commitment towards a battery plant in Montreal, alongside LG Energy and Stellantis Ventures, underscores Canada's appeal for EV production. As the prologue gains traction with its production base in Mexico, Honda's decision to invest in Ontario amplifies the region's significance in the EV landscape. Moreover, Honda's proactive stance towards electrification is evident. As the sole Japanese automaker with a 2040 deadline for a full EV transition, Honda's strides defy any notion of sluggishness. This commitment underscores their dedication to sustainable mobility. As anticipation builds for the official announcement, it's imperative to acknowledge the diverse offerings within Honda's portfolio. Notably, the plug-in hybrid fuel cell CRV showcases Honda's innovative approach to eco-friendly mobility. Despite challenges such as fuel station closures in California, Honda persists in pushing boundaries. What do you think about what Honda, Toyota, and Nissan have put out at the Beijing Auto Show? Are you excited about any particular model? Tell us why in the comments section below. Like the video if you didn't subscribe to the channel. Until the next one, thanks for watching.